So they embrace the fact that it's a cartoon and animate as such. A jarring shift that I welcome for such a premise. Although the musical sequences are so sparing that I kept forgetting they're in here. And when they are here, it seems like the track choices are more current to the time, or just this. Gangnam Style and the Harlem Shake. Well, thank God there's no R. Kelly songs. Why? Okay, ignoring all the piss and the memes, at least the comedy is much better. Like, I found Robin Williams here actually funny as this thing. <laughs> But what hurts the sequel is there's just too many characters, so you barely get to know anyone. Robin voices two penguins that have roughly the same character traits of horny, so I struggle to remember who did what. The most useless are these Krill. They were gonna cast Stephen Colbert and John Stewart, but they were too busy, so they got mad. The duo operate on Lion King one and a half logic where they don't really interact with the main cast and the rest of the side of the movie You could have easily have cut them out, but I guess they were going for the tribal rock type of we're all part of the same ecosystem theme.